Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your Google Chrome web browser, so if you're trying to navigate one day and you're getting an error in the Google Chrome web browser that says error network changed, um, this tutorial will be for you guys. So we're going to jump directly right into this video and we're going to start by opening up the star menu and you want to type in command prompt. Best match should say command prompt directly above desktop app. Windows 7 devices and Windows 8 should not have desktop app underneath. But nonetheless, you want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. When you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. So now into this elevated command line window we have on our screen at this point, you want to type in IP config, all one word, so IP C O N F I G. And then you want to do a space forward slash flush DNS. So flush DNS, all one word right attached to that forward slash we have right before that. There only should be one space in this whole line right here, and that's between the IP config and the forward slash. Once you have it exactly how it appears on my screen, you want to hit enter on your keyboard. Should say successfully flushed a DNS resolver cache. Now that you've done that, you want to type in NET. SH space WinSock, so W I N S O C K space reset. And keep in mind there should be a couple spaces in this one, so N E T S H space WinSock space reset. Then you want to hit enter on your keyboard. You will be prompted to restart the computer to complete the reset of the WinSock catalog, which I would recommend that all of you guys do at this point. So close out of any program, save your work if you have anything open. And hopefully the problem has been resolved when your computer restarts. I would also recommend if it did not work for you, I would suggest going to your router, unplugging it from the wall, plugging it back in. If you have any other devices, see if they can connect to the internet as well and try and isolate the issue that way. That would be another solution I could suggest, but hopefully for most people, if you are sure you do have internet access in your home or business or wherever you are, hopefully this should work for you. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.